right, so we're out here with Rufus, a um, four and a half, almost five month old golden doodle, and we're doing a little bit of on leash and off leash prep work. Uh, but as is typical, we're trying to, it's getting late, so we wanted to get a little work in with Miss Snow. Really, it's for my daughter's having a good time with Miss Snow. And then we also have over here Austin, my assistant with his dog, uh, doing off leash healing. That's Jojo. Uh, how old is Jojo now? Six months? Six months. Fresh six months, yeah. Six month old um, German short haired pointer. So pretty well trained. Snow is actually very well trained. And then this is Rufus being a doofus. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. <laughs> As you can see, he still has some issues with jumping and he doesn't walk perfect on the leash yet, but that's kind of what we're out here to fix. So he's gonna get a little mild correction. And we have Miss Kiara is uh, off leash hanging out. That's the neighbor's dog. She's very sweet. Not trained, but very sweet. So it's a good distraction. That could be like your cousin, your long distance, long lost relative right there. You're tracking a little bit. Come on, baby. Smelling all kinds of good stuff. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I need you with me. Perfect. Do you mind if I use a clicker? I'm gonna use my voice if, if. Yes. I just wanna be clicking for, for stuff with your dog. No, no, I don't mind if you use a clicker at all. Okay. One of the downfalls of clickers is if you have several dogs that are clicker trained, they think they're getting clicked for what they're doing. So. We'll probably just use a verbal uh, marker. We'll go, yes, and get food. We can charge that up. Teaching him to pay a little more attention to us and that if he gets a correction, it's not the end of the world. We're far enough away, so I'm happy to use the clicker because that's what he knows best. And we'll switch it up. Might start doing left hand payments. So he is on a prong collar, little 2.25 millimeter one. So it's what we call the booty bump stop. Check it out. Depending upon how many hands you have, we all have two hands, some of us one. But So if he goes past my little line, we'll try it here. I'll do it with the booty bump. It's just a little. He's gonna learn he has to pay attention to me because sometimes I stop. And if he doesn't stop, he gets a little mild correction. Booty bump, we call it. Can also be simulated with this hand. Getting better at it, getting better. Now he's, he's kicking out really crooked, so we're gonna start to clean that up now. Should see an improvement in his engagement as we continue, taking our time with it. And again, yeah, we're using the prong collar. And you can't get a much, you know, on paper, you know, softer, sweeter dog than a little Labradoodle. Little do you know that Labradoodles have ton of energy, right? So he's very focused in on George holding the camera. Perfect. So it's a sudden stop, but I'm trying to pay him with my left hand so he doesn't cheat out in front of me. Yeah, good boy. And so we'll start stopping on cars. There's a car here, we use it because you see uh, Mr. Rufus keeps kicking out. What I mean by kicking out, his butt's coming way out. So now we use, you'll see it from behind, check this out. Yes. Nope. And we'll pressure him back just a little bit. He's got a touch of leash pressure in. Good job. Might as well switch to some downs. I know it looks weird. We're right next to this car, but it's serving a purpose. Good. Sit. Down. Very nice. A little quick to click down. There we go. Okay. Four and a half months, maybe maybe about five months now. Down. Where'd it go, buddy? Get it. <laughs> See my daughter over there doing sits and downs with Miss Snow. She loves snow. <laughs> Show us maybe a down. Good job. How about a sit? Good. And show us how you walk her. Good job. Beautiful, like a little princess. Two little princesses there. 
Oh, all right, back to business with Mr. Rufus. So let's see how we can continue to tighten up his healing, which is exactly what I want. No more stopping to grab things up off the floor, which he's notorious for. You put a sock out here, you gobble it up. Clicking for the things that I like, he's walking with me, paying attention to me. I'm not looking for an attention heel right now, but I am looking for to capture little moments that I like. Not too far ahead, not too far behind. And so he's cheated, like there's a little like one foot gap. So I'm gonna cheat him in by paying real close to my body. And then you'll notice he's kicked out. So now I have to find another solution. Good boy. Which is gonna be more power steering. I have to teach him to rotate into me. Which, but that, I realize that now, so we'll have to, that's not today's lesson, but I make a mental note. We need to teach Rufus how to come into heel position. And definitely we're gonna stop that, that, um, that jumping. So let's do some mild e-collar work. This uh, e-collar work is gonna be for our online e-collar course. You can just get a taste of it now, just a taste. Just making sure we're at the right level. Should hear a little beep when I hit the e collar. Good job. See, tail wagging. Loving life, folks. And I make it look easy. It's easy when you know what you're doing. Good job, buddy. Big payment for that because I was very happy with that. Doing wonderful. Might as well sneak in a recall. The video's probably getting long. We got a lot more to film with him, but uh, we try to keep our videos not too, too long. But let's go ahead and get a, uh, a nice recall. So what we're gonna do is free him over there. Free. Disappear, basically. Rufus, here. Yes. Really can't come any faster than that. I mean, he was just skedaddling to me, skedaddling. Boy, we're actually going to switch him to the flat collar so he doesn't correct himself. We'll get maybe a couple more of those and why not? So the name of the game for these recalls is get him away from you. Free. Roof is here. I'll throw a hot dog because these little pieces of kibble are a little hard to see. In fact, I'll throw a big piece of kibble. Save those hot dogs for when we really need them. Check that out. Free. Kind of move off the X. I'll be behind the camera. Rufus, here! Good job. And for that, we give you a little hot dog. How about that? A little bonus, my friend. Oh, how about that? How about that? Do a couple more of those. Free. Rufus, here! Yes. Again, that one was with the e collar. A little late on these payments, but at least I'm marking. Good job, buddy. That's it. I mean, this is the type of dog training we love. Um, this is balance training. He actually is on a prong collar. He is on an e-collar. And look at this dog. I mean, the suffering is just ridiculous. Look at him. He just can't take it anymore. He's begging to please go up. And we got a off-leash snow. <laughs> uh, so, never a dull moment around here. Adventures in dog training. Make sure to stay tuned for some more adventures in dog training with Miss Snow, with Rufus, with my daughter chasing the puppy, and uh, Austin and, and Miss Jojo. Tons more content coming. So thank you all very much. Sorry if I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. We've got more dogs to train, and we will see you all on the next video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Come on, baby.